coming over there. Hey up and uh, welcome to Tarn House and this is a location I've never been to in the Lake District and I think from here um, we've got a view of the Langdale Pikes and there's some light just breaking out on there. Uh, the rain, miracles do happen, the rain has stopped and it's forecast to be dry for the rest of the day. We'll see whether that uh, happens. The sky, one side is pretty claggy, pretty patchy, but there's light breaking through. And I say, I'm pretty sure that's the Langdale Pikes over there. It's got some gorgeous light on it. On the way in, there's a small disabled car park. So we pulled in there and took some shots of the views from there, because the views from there uh, were pretty amazing. So you'll have seen them in the intro. So today, this morning, afternoon, we're just going to have a walk around Tarn House. Uh, it's pretty windy, so the Tarn itself is uh, moving. Uh, no reflection, no mirror reflection at all, but you never know that wind might drop later. So we're just going to go round the Tarn and see what we can get uh, with the available light and conditions because uh, that's all we can do. So we'll uh, walk around. It's going to be some moody shots, I think. Moody shots, maybe with the occasional um, spray of light if uh, the weather's good to us. The clouds do keep breaking. We can see the sun up there, actually. That's the first time we've seen it since we've been here. Jesus. But uh, we have to be grateful for what we get. Let's be grateful today. That light over there, just bring it over here. So, that's the intro. Let's go and uh, take a walk now. And just see, can we get, can we get, can we get some light today? Well, since I last spoke to you, uh, conditions have worsened and there's some low cloud dropping over the fells now, which has uh, reduced the light. I did fancy a shot of this tree on this island, but, uh, and we've come down to the edge of the tarn, but part of it's sticking up in the sky and it just doesn't, uh, just doesn't look anything from this angle. I think further around the tarn, maybe, if we get it so it's separated uh, from the background, the background from this angle, it's got all the trees behind it and uh, there's no separation. So I'm not gonna take a shot here. We'll continue walking round. That'll give chance maybe for the light to uh, come back through. on the island separated from the background and it's uh, it's so difficult because there's just not a nice clear background I've got it against this uh, green the greenery of the landscape and it's probably the best I'm going to get it and I've positioned it in left of frame I am going to crop the bottom out let's just have a look at uh, video I'm going to crop uh, the bottom uh, of the water out because it's just nothing crop a little bit out and then we've got more interest in the background where the clouds are coming over the fell um, I kind of think unless I can bring the colors out in the processing it will be uh, a black and white shot but um, I don't think there's going to be a better angle 
to try and get this uh, tree separated. It needs some mist. Mist would be fantastic, but we're not going to get that today. around torn hours I didn't expect a lot today however wow we saw a gate that said viewing area and uh, it was a walk up and we walked up and we got an amazing view of what is the Langdale Pikes and the only light we've had today and this morning is the light that I've just captured on Langdale Pikes. And I did take a few other shots of different landscapes. I'm probably going to take another one over there, just move around a little. But the light that's been falling over there has been amazing. And it's really, really lifted me up today having took these shots and I can't wait to share them with you. Camera settings, uh, 100 to 400 lens, f8, ISO 400, uh, 800th of a second. So that's done its job. But I just love the view from here, the trees. You can see trees going up what's probably is a smaller fell. And then in the background, you go to the Langdale Pikes. The light's gone now. That light, we had the light for probably 20 minutes. So I spent 20 minutes getting those shots. The wind's now getting up. And um, yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits with these images we're going to see now. Over there there's some Herdwick sheep and I'm going to go and photograph, uh, I'm going to go and photograph them little buggers. Let's get some shots of them. But here are these uh, shots of the light on the Langdale Pikes. Absolutely chuffed to bits. wrapped up like some uh, Eskimo. I just wonder what she'd wear if we ended up in uh, somewhere like Iceland. God, she'd probably need a spacesuit or something. But yeah, she's well wrapped up today. It is getting colder as the morning's gone on. It's got colder and we're going to head back down to Torn House now to see if there's one more shot. One more shot to close the video and then get back to the warmth of the caravan. The 
behind me is the classic shot that you get here at uh, Tarn House. Let's put the uh, video up of it and the vertical does look quite nice in the shot. Um, just a reflection. The water keeps rippling a little bit. It's very um, shaded here so the winds disappeared but uh, yeah it's a nice shot to finish on to wrap the video up and there's a lovely green on that building I'm not even sure what it is is it a summer house or what is it used it looks a bit spooky actually I'm sure I've just seen somebody waving in one of the windows or or giving various hand signals I don't know but it's a nice scene it's a nice shot yeah if we had some light the light does keep peeping out to the left of us but uh, it just can't break through those clouds today so I think the vertical ooh, I think the vertical looks uh, pretty nice here we'll uh, do some variations as we do and I might just see if the water will go a little bit more still so we get that uh, perfect perfect mirror reflection but I'm happy with these shots we'll have colour hey we'll, we'll put black and white in as well why not why not so I might do a low down shot as well to get some of these uh, sort of reedy grasses in to put some foreground into the shot get the camera low down but I'm definitely liking the um, the vertical shot you've just got because the trees I like the verticals with the trees that are wrapping around uh, the building itself and that water is nice and still now nice and still let's get another another shot and let's just move in we're at 24 mil what do we get if we come out let's take a wide shot focusing on the building itself and that gives us all the the reeds and grasses in the foreground but the building's too far away at 24 mil Tarn House, well worth a visit. Obviously, uh, when conditions are better, the photography is better. But uh, I, I got lucky with the light falling on the Langdales uh, from that viewpoint up there. So, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Give the video a like, pop a comment in the bottom. On that note, I'll see you later on the next one.